Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing this beautiful reading for the fishies born today, February 22. Happy birthday, my loves. Happy birthday to all the fishies born in this magical day. I wish you the absolute best, a whole new cycle filled with blessings and abundance and joy. My fishies, let's see. This is going to be my gift to you your reading for today obviously if anybody here um wants to just listen to the reading get the messages even if it's not your birthday that's perfectly fine we are in pisces season so all of these messages are probably gonna apply to all of us in some way Alrighty. before we start please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and aware that we have a Pisces season sale. I'm going to let you know all about it at the end of the video. But basically, everything on the website is 50% off. So every single one of the online courses, which are, you know, to me, absolutely life-changing. They're just $24.99 each. It's kind of hard to say. It's like kind of crazy because you get so much value for $24.99. Alrighty, universe, what's up? First card that we have here, we've got the strength card. Some of you guys could be potentially dealing with a Leo, maybe. Some of you guys right now are really, really, really needing to tap into that energy of strength. All right. Some of you are feeling either quite strong right now, or you're feeling like you have really come a long way. Maybe right now you're feeling tempted to look back and say, damn, like last year at this time, I was living this, this and that. And look at me now. Look at where I am now, you know. As a challenge, you have the five of swords, Pisces. So right now you may feel like energies. Oops, sorry about that. You may feel like energies are a little bit all over the place, Pisces. You may feel like there is... A little bit of irritability, a little bit of anxiety. Maybe you feel sort of like tension in your connections. You may feel like some people are a little bit sensitive or you are a little bit sensitive. And you may feel like there's potential arguments to avoid. <laughs> like you need to sort of like be careful with what you're saying and how you're saying it to really be able to express your message. Recently, Pisces, you have walked away from a lot. From a lot. <laughs> maybe in the last couple of months, maybe in the last couple of years, Pisces, you have gotten into this habit of walking away from everything that is not serving you. Maybe a long time ago that was really hard for you and now it's like like a muscle you have really worked on it and now it's like as soon as you identify something that is really like bad for you it's like you walk away and that is a good way to show how much new or yeah kind of like how much self-love you have recently acquired for some of you or developed or improved, I don't know how to say it, but it's like, it is a reflection of your self-love, bottom line. In your mind sorry, in your mind space, you've got the Six of Cups. Some of you guys could be feeling a little bit nostalgic. Some of you may be very in touch with this, like, happy slash sad walk down memory lane. It's a simultaneous feeling of sadness and joy. Some of you guys could be thinking about someone who is very important to you. Someone maybe you knew from your childhood, teenage years. Someone who feels like a soulmate to you in one way or another. Maybe you're missing someone right now. Maybe you're missing someone who is gone from, from this earth. Maybe you're missing someone that you haven't had contact with. Or maybe you're missing sort of like the way things used to be. Not that you would change your present with the past, but you know, nostalgia after all. In your future, you've got the nine of wands, Pisces. 
So you're definitely going to continue to do progress in whatever it is that you are aiming to achieve. One foot after the other, you are walking towards your dreams and your goals. And as we covered in that reading, Summertime Sadness, that was posted at the beginning, I think it was Friday. As soon as you let go of something to embrace something else, there is a sense of grief and a sense of new beginnings, all simultaneous, all quite complex on an emotional level going through you. I'm getting this reference again. I already shared this at some point. I think I've shared this several times in many readings, but I don't know why my guides keep like bringing that up. Maybe it's going to help any of you. So I love Grey's Anatomy. Many of you know that already. The doctor show. And there was a conversation in which one of the doctors was feeling really sad because like her fiance sort of like moved on from the career they shared into a new one and then like her toddler sort of like let go of her hand when he w when she was leaving he she was like taking him to preschool or something like that and he just sort of like walked and let go of her hand and didn't say goodbye and for some reason that really like triggered her and at the same time like her ex-husband was getting married again and she was feeling really sad because everybody seemed to be moving on and sort of like letting go of her hand <laughs> and another doctor just says you know what happens when people let go of your hand you get it back you know and that is something that i feel here it's like yeah you're letting go of a lot and a lot is letting go of you but that means that you have more space that means that you have a whole new canvas to draw a new life in, you know? So it is this sense of, you know, wow, life is never going to be the same. Maybe I'm letting go of this person, this relationship, this home, this job. You know, some of you are really walking away from a lot. And even though that has its emotional toll, you're moving towards the future confidently. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> You're moving towards the future uh, very confidently. The journey hasn't been the easiest, as you can see here with the Knight of Wands. There's been ups and downs on your journey, moments of happiness, moments of disappointment, all sorts of things, right? And you are tapping into that strength to keep yourself going, to keep yourself growing and overcoming, as you always do, all the obstacles that may arise. What the universe wants you to know, Knight of Cups. Pisces, there could be someone here that wants to give you an offer of love. This could be a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio person here. I think that you may sort of know who this person is, but I don't think you know how they feel about you. They are working on building the confidence to confess their love to you. Wow, your energy is being represented by this gorgeous card, the Ace of Pentacles, meaning that you have right now, Pisces, an energy of potential. It overflows. This is maybe potential to make more money, to be more successful, to get more recognition, to have success with an idea, a project. This is magical, Pisces. It's like, I feel like you have the Midas touch right now. Everything that you touch turns to gold at this point. In your environment, we've got the Justice card. By the way, guys, I read upright cards, not reversals. I know it's kind of late to say that, but if you guys see me flipping the cards, that's why. With Justice in your environment, you may be dealing with a Libra. You may be dealing with some kind of like legal thing, paperwork, or any kind of legal stuff, <laughs> lawyer stuff. Um, some of you guys are also being propelled forward 
in a way that feels like vindication, in a way that feels like what you've always deserved, now is here for you. Many of you felt like you were really putting your best foot forward for years, really making the best effort to not only be a good person, not only help others, but to also work hard at what you wanted. And many of you felt stuck for a really long time. Maybe some of you do, some of you still do. And this justice in your environment is sort of like gonna bring back everything that you deserve. It's gonna bring back the rewards for everything that you have ever put out that hasn't been um, sort of like rewarded. As far as hopes and fears, you've got the Nine of Cups. So as a hope, obviously, you want to feel proud of yourself. You want to feel proud of your accomplishments, of who you are, who you have become at this point for this new cycle, you know. Maybe you want to really feel proud for this last year. It is your birthday. This is a whole new phase, you know, whole new chapter. But maybe some of you guys don't want to get too comfortable because you want to continue to achieve and expand even more. Bottom line, six of pentacles. This is you, Pisces, being super abundant, having way more resources that you could possibly need. <laughs> um, I feel like some of you guys are going to get a whole new wardrobe soon. Or maybe that's like in your plans or in your goals or in your dreams. It's, it's going to be manifesting soon if that is something that you've been dreaming of. I feel like you're going to have so much abundance that you're going to be able to share it with others and really honor the generosity that you have always had and maybe not always been able to share with others. Now it's going to be like you can seriously indulge in, you know, buying other presents, other presents, um, you know, spoiling everybody. <laughs> And most importantly, yourself. So there's definitely a lot of abundance and happiness coming in Pisces for you. And I think that this is a reflection of your endurance, perseverance, your newfound ability to walk away from the things that don't serve you, even if it's hard. Justice is being made on your behalf, Pisces. I love it. I'm so happy for you. And there may be a little, you know soulmate sort of like around comment below tell me if you know who this person is could be a soulmate could be someone from the past possibly a cancer pisces or scorpio other signs showing up here libra and leo comment below i want to know <laughs> what are you guys also comment below what are you guys doing for your birthday today i know that many of you are in lockdown so I don't know what are the options for birthdays, but I'm curious. Anyway, my loves, remember that the sale is up 50% in all of the courses. We got the Abundance Blueprint course for you to heal your relationship with money. We've got the Past Life Regression course for you to unblock past life blockages that could be really holding you back. So that, that goes for those of you who feel like there's one area of your life that is just like permanently stuck, no matter what you do. That's probably a past life issue. Um, tarot level one, if you want to learn how to read the cards. The shamanic journey series, if you want to go into shamanism and animal spirit medicine. It's very powerful, very interesting. And last but not least, the energy protection course. I, I almost, it took me a second there. <laughs> <laughs> the energy protection course so you guys can really learn how to protect your energy especially as Pisces it's really really important so that's the full menu that I have for you each one of these courses are $24.99 only by purchasing any of them or all of them or some of them you support the channel and you support me which I appreciate and you can also get these and use them um, for years to come so you can get them on this price and maybe wait three months until you're a little bit more, um, you have more time or whatever, more in a better space for it, and then start it. You can do it several times. It is not time sensitive that way, in the sense that we don't have to all connect at the same time, same place. Um, it's actually just kind of like at your own pace, whenever you feel like you can do it. All right. 
I love you guys so much and I'll see you very soon. For those of you who are purchasing the courses um, and you've never seen my face, that might be a little bit of, of a bizarre experience. Um, in all of the courses, I show my face. So it's like a regular video class. Um, so I don't know. I hope you like my face, I guess. <laughs> it's just kind of strange. Um, but anyway, I'll see you over there on the website. I love you guys so much. Um, I'll see you in the next read. Happy birthday!